Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to have a short little video on talking about digital logic, edges, and rise times. So, let's start by uh, addressing digital logic. Two states, on and off. That's what digital basically means. In most cases, we're dealing with a zero to five volt signal, okay? So here, if we look at this, this is our zero point. Two, this is a two volts per division. So two volts, four volts. That's just a little over five volts. We're at five point two. Let's see if we can uh, fix that a little bit better there. There we go. So we're at about five volts there, peak to peak. Now, like I said, digital logic concerns itself only with ons and offs, ones and zeros, trues and false. So the high state is our one, our true, and our on. The low state is our zero, false, our off. Are you with me so far? Okay. Now, here's where it's going to get interesting. I just lied to you. Digital logic doesn't give a crap about on and off. Digital logic only cares about the edges. The transition between on and off is what your digital logic ICs are looking for. So if we're getting here, we're looking at this simple square wave, okay? It has a frequency of 14 kilohertz. You know, it's a medium speed logic circuit. So there's our frequency. Now here is our rise time. 100 nanoseconds. Now it looks, when you look at the scope here, like this is a pretty flat, you know, instant on to off transition, but it's not. Because when we zoom in on that edge, on that transition, take a look there. It is anything but instantaneous. I'm going to grab a couple cursors here. Okay, let me adjust them. So there's where we begin. And there's about where we end. And you can see we're looking at 68 nanoseconds. Pardon my cuts in and out. Um, <clears throat> I got a bit of a sore throat, but it's all good. So what I'm just trying to show you here is even though when you're taking a look at your circuit like this, everything looks to be square. When you really get down to it, it's anything but square. There is a charge time. You can see that right there. And if we were to trigger on the uh, falling edge, you would see basically the same thing. So why is this important? Well, it's important in your digital logic circuits because a lot of them are going to specify rise and fall times. Let's go over to the computer and take a look. All right, let's look at a couple of circuits here. One where it matters and one where it doesn't. So the first one we're going to take a look at here is the CD4013, which is just a simple flip-flop circuit. But we come down here and we look at our characteristics and what you see here is our rise and fall time and in this case it's specified in microseconds and it is also specified by voltages so at 5 volts it is going to accept a maximum 500 microsecond rise time but when you pump that guy up there to 15 volts your rise time now has a maximum of 6 microseconds so if you're using a chip and you're having trouble triggering it when you think it is make sure you're checking your rise and fall times on the data sheet it does play a big difference now let's look at one where it really doesn't matter the super common CD4017 uh, decade, count, decade uh, counter and if you look here at our rise and fall times 
it just doesn't care. So it's pretty uh, easy to use. Others, not so much. I guess all I'm trying to tell you is pay attention. So I hope that was uh, somewhat enlightening for you guys to see how some chips care and some don't. Now, what was I using to generate this square wave? Which is this little square wave generator. It works really well. But now I want to show you something else that I think you'll get a uh, you'll get a kick out of. Let me uh, move and adjust the camera here a little bit. So let's bring in a 10 megahertz crystal oscillator. Okay, and I'm going to disconnect it from this low pass filter I have going on here. Hook it up to five volts. These are generally five volts. Some 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 are uh, 12 volts, but you're pretty well safe with five volts. You may not be safe with 12 volts. All right. So we're hooked up here. Now let's come over here and uh, take a look at this, which should be a square wave, right? Well, it's not. Take a look at that. There is our 10 megahertz signal. It's got a it's got a decent rise time. It's a uh, 24 nanoseconds. And you look at that and you're thinking, oh, that is ugly. That is horrible. That doesn't look like a square wave. But go back to what I told you at the beginning of the video. Your digital logic doesn't care about the on and the off. It only, only, only cares about that transition, that edge. And if that edge is fast enough that it fits within its parameters, it'll work. Okay? I hope this helped you guys out. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.